What is up, dudes? Got a video here. Okay, so I was going to release this yesterday, but it was my birthday and I ate a bunch of Burger King and smoked a bunch and, and, and I fell asleep and <laughs> I ended up <laughs> not not uploading it. And then when I went to go rewatch it, I realized that I went on like two like really crazy tangents for about like six to eight minutes at a time and i realized that both of those things should have their own videos so i'll just do those in the future and today i'm just going to talk about why i went back to xorg um i've been missing a couple things in my life uh you know um flame shot x2 tool these things are kind of important to me i i, I use them a lot maybe not x2 tools so much it depends on what window manager I have running, maybe I'll use that a little, but really like flame shot is just such a, it's such an important thing to me, right? So I'll, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why I like it. So if I go to make a take screenshot, right? I could be like, oh, I'm going to circle this thing and, and like, oh, I could put, oh, there's a number right here. And then, oh, I could do it, some arrows and, oh, we got to blur out this one leaf because you don't want the identity of the leaf to come out you know what i mean or you know like there, there's a you know i could like uh invert colors we could type things this is amazing i have not found another situation like this that is as good as it and like the way that it looks you know what i mean like that number look thing looks good the arrow it doesn't look janky when you use swappy right the arrow looks a little kind of janky just a little bit i'm not trash and swappy it is a good solution for not having flame shot on fucking wayland <laughs> but it's just not as good it's not as good and then getting this all set up is like really easy too because it's literally this command Boom, now I, I've activated it. You, see, you know what I mean? So setting that to a keybind is like super simple. It's easy to remember. Um, and yeah, I just kind of, I need it. I need it in my life, right? So uh, a while back, this is going to tie in all together and it's going to seem like a weird sprout off of the conversation. But so a while back, I had bought parts for pc piece by piece to build a pc and uh i had an issue with the case it was like the gpu the way that the standoffs worked on the inside of the case with the motherboard that i had the gpu wouldn't line up with the io and forever i thought it was an incompatibility thing like it was my fault like i was just being an idiot but it wasn't me being an idiot it was the case was designed terribly and i was just being a cheapskate and i was trying to buy a cheap case and and it didn't work out right so i had fought with this place to get my money back and i finally got a case and i finally came got around to putting it all together so i have this new machine and when i set up the new machine i'm like yo i'm gonna first of all I, I booted it with a Windows 11 on it, and holy crap. <laughs> holy crap. I haven't, I've never used Windows 11 before. Holy crap. Jesus. I feel bad for whoever's using that right now. It, it was unreal. But yeah, so I'm like, yo, I'm going to go set this up. You know, I, get, I download my little Arch ISO. I get it all booted up, and I'm sitting in the TGY. I'm like, what am I going to do? And I had been play I played around with Awesome WM a little bit, and I was like, you know what? We're just we're just gonna do it. We're gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna become an Awesome WM guy. And uh, I started playing with this, and it's it's really nice. And uh, I'm running the FT Labs PyCom fork, which is why I have like the the cool um, blur to everything. And I'll get into like a little bit of my config, but I I went out of my way and I made a fancy to do list. And, and kind of like some things. So I'm going to use this as an outline to my situation right here. All right, so let's get this in the full screen situation. Awesome WM. Features I want to do. We're going to talk about things that exist in it. And uh, possibly how I might implement certain things. Okay, what is Awesome WM based on DWM? 
Most stuff is based on DWM. <laughs> it has a bar. It's called Wii Bar. You can configure it. It's fun. Uh, widget system, pretty cool. Configured in Lua. Now, this is a big point. I want to get better at that. I want to get better at reading the Lua and, and whatnot. It seems like there's some cool things. There is a possible NeoVim configuration coming in the future once I, I get around to actually like uh, going through literally all of that stuff because it, there's just so much to that. Uh, yeah. So on Xorg, it has layouts. It has a lot of different layouts. Um, I just kind of use the tile layout, just the base tile layout if I go like this you know, that sort of a situation, right? Um, cycle focus. What is cycle focus? It's this uh, kind of plug-in thing that I got off of GitLab. Uh, here, let's go. If I do this, you see I can switch between the two windows. That's very nice. Um, yeah, very cool. I have the link right here. Uh, it doesn't have scrolling. That's that's the basically the only downside to this window manager that i found is it doesn't have scrolling which means it's basically a flawless window manager because not everything on the planet has scrolling um i can use flame shot and x2 tool that is very very nice modular configuration simple theme creation and cool reasons to make icons all right so in section one, I'm going to go over WeBar. So some of the things that I want to do, and I actually feel like I've already accomplished some of this. Okay, so click for the calendar clock thing. That's going to be a whole situation I'm going to dive into. I never really use calendars or clocks. I just kind of know what's going to happen because of my phone. So yeah, on the computer, it seems a little redundant, but I, I think... Uh, I think I'm going to make it just to make it, you know what I mean? Uh, start menu icon. I've already kind of worked on this. That's what this is. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do some things. I downloaded a Sprite so I can, I can actually like do it in a proper like pixel art situation. So yeah. Uh, sys tray background, that's something that it's just, I just need to make it transparent. Uh, redshift trigger button. So I want to have a button. Wait. Okay. So down here a little bit lower, I write switch between min minimal and fleshed out Wii bar. I want to have two configurations for Wii bar. One of them is going to have all the cool bits and bobs on it. And the other one is going to just be the super plain minimal one that I'm going to mostly use. Right. But when I'm feeling froggy and I want something fancy, I want to be able to have cool things like a button for caffeine or a button for uh, redshift and, uh, you know, different things like a button for the calendar. So these are these are things that I'm going to implement later on. Um, fixing the spacing of basically all the icons and everything is something I need to get on. Uh, a volume indicator. I want to make a volume indicator and I want a little slider thingy and I want it to look cool. Uh, switch between, oh wait, I already said that. <laughs> Update modifier, that's just going to be part of the fancy config. And then a trigger for blanket also in the fancy config. Because, okay, this right here, the, the way that this bar is, this is basically how I normally write a bar. So, yeah, that's going to be the, the, I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, that's going to be the main thing. So, uh, part two, custom menus. I've already cracked out a little bit of work on this. So, uh... I don't normally use context menus, but I figured at this point, uh, just to do it, I'm going to do it because, you know, passively learning Lua. And, uh, yeah, so I just want to have a bunch of, uh, oh. good thing I got the cycle focus thing. I want to have a bunch of stuff where it's like uh, in here. I've already started to do some work on it. These little... Uh, the arrow icons, I don't, I figured out how to change those. I just haven't gotten to doing it yet. I'm going to replace that with it, but I got like the nerd font stuff going on and all these work, they all work. And I, it, it took me like a bajillion tries because I kept, uh, messing up, uh, like, cause Lua, you want to pay attention to the spacing and you want to pay attention to like, for instance, in this piece of code, uh, okay, you see how I have this written where it's it's like 
real together, you want to have spaces between these brackets and this. I don't know exactly how super important that is, but I feel like every time I was reloading, I would get uh, like an error or it would load into the default config and I'd be like, what? And then I would fix all the spacing and it would be perfectly fine after that. So I'm, I'm just saying I'm paying attention to the spacing. Uh, we all should pay attention to the spacing, right? <laughs> uh, open the terminal with the music script. Uh, so I actually use a new thing now for my music, which is going to be OCP, which is pretty cool. It's like a terminal thing. Uh, I mainly use this for like uh, being able to run like uh, oh, let's do this. Like, you see how cool that looks? Being able to run tracker modules. And it also plays MP3s and stuff. So I I, I switched over to that. So that's actually something I already banged out off the list. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to have, like, a menu that, that'll just list all the videos in my video folder. And then I can, I can just pop a video open in MP3 or MPV. So that'll be really cool. Uh, let's see. So onwards to the widgets. I had seen a video that a guy did, and he basically had it, it look. It, he had this all set up with the default stuff, and it looked like Quick Shell or maybe you. And I was like, "Oh, that's that's interesting. Like you can do that with just the built-in widget system. Like that's cool." So, um, yeah, that's where I'm, we're going to get into the widgets. So, secondary calendar box. That's going to be part of my button click thingy situation uh so i can actually go in and like write stuff in and have it saved and i'm gonna figure out how to do that it, it shouldn't be too hard uh let's see uh i'm gonna try to build an app launcher with the widgets i don't know how good that's gonna work or if it's gonna be static and then i have to add entries to it we'll, we'll see how, how how it happens uh media controls uh, wallpaper switcher. So uh, currently, um, actually, I'll use the context menu to be fancy. This is I'm using nitrogen, right? Which is not a bad option. Uh, it's just I'm. I would like something that feels a little more baked in. So having the widgets built out of the widget system for the wallpaper would be great. And input box for YT DLP. That that would be really sweet. Um, yeah, and this is an example widget thing from the documentation. Uh, nerd font picker was is another thing I want to have. I do have Rofi Nerdy. That's what this is. It's okay. It's just Rofi. But I think if I had like a widget box that I can search out stuff and do like that would be really really cool. I don't know how possible all this is gonna be uh, with that scenario, but it's something that I'm thinking about. Okay, and then onwards down to just like base level, like configuration stuff I want to do. Um, I need to move the theme that I'm using now into a uh, slash theme under awesome, right? And that, and I want to have multiple themes and we're going to figure out a way to script it so I can have a theme switcher with Rofi. So that, that, that's going to be probably one of the more easier tasks. <laughs> out of all this stuff um create modular lua, lua files so with this config what you can do is uh let's let's go to this first one so if i go to the top right you see how it's like local gears require gears you know local we box require we box you can have this uh require a uh, lua file within you know whatever path you put there right or whatever so you can split all these different sections of this config into their own separate files and when this sources it will pull all that in and then yeah so basically i'm gonna do my config like that because what i've noticed it just it's a really busy config and to be able to be like okay this is just my bar i go in and i just mess with the bar and this is just my widgets and this is just my keybinds like that's going to be a lot simpler of a situation than me trying to like because i get i get i'm like lost inside that config the way that it is right now so that's going to be uh very that's going to be one of the more um 
time consuming out of all of this because at the tops of each of those RC Lua files, you have to source the things that need to be sourced for that thing to work, right? So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure all that out. Eh, which, whatever. Uh, create a bunch of icons. Tons of icons. I've already kind of started doing some. Uh, let's see. What would be a way to do this? Um, CD Zenburn, yes. Uh, CD layouts. Okay, let's see. Um, pseudo yeah. uh, tile dot PNG. I don't know if I need to be pseudo for this. Okay. So right here is one of the ones that I, I did a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do pixel art stuff for all this. I wanna go for like a mossy stone kind of vibe because I'm gonna do this like Zen burn colors mixed with a little bit of groove box dark situation. And yeah, so yeah. Doing all the icons, that's gonna be another really time consuming thing. Um, it'll be cool though. It'll be worth it. It'll be relaxing. Um, let's fucking fly. Anyway, um, Zen mode, right? So currently what I have to do is this full screen and the bar, I have to do two diff different keybinds to kill the bar and then go to full screen. I want to be able to do that all in one keybind. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a thing. That's actually going to be really easy to do. Uh, make a startup sound. So I'm going to go into Milky Tracker. I'm going to make a startup sound for this because I like startup sounds. They're cool. Um, figure out how to grayscale. Oh, I'm on Xorg, so that's going to be pretty simple. Um, I know that there's a just base command that you can do, but I have to dial in the flags for it so I can get the right grayscale situation, right? Because <clears throat> um, grayscale is good for your eyes and shit. Yo, my fucking camera froze. <laughs> anyway, back to it. I was on grayscale. You know, it's good for your eyes. I said that. Grayscale. Try it out. There's plugins for Firefox if you want to give it a go. See see if it's good for you. I suggest it. You should do it. Okay. Uh, switch over to Propo version of NerdFont, the proportionate version. I've already done that. I fixed that. Basically, in nerd fonts, there's a you know how you have a bunch of different styles of the font. The propo, it's gonna scale the nerd icon to the actual size of the font, so it won't look all janky. Cause when you have it in certain things like waybar and other things like that, like the icon will be on a different, um, you know, elevation or whatever you want to call it. Uh, compared to the font and it won't look right so it when you do the pro pro it, it lines it up and then scratch pads so scratch pads is like there's a few things I've seen about scratch pads and I, I, I just I don't I don't I don't know uh, which way I'm gonna go about it that's something I gotta think on a little bit more but yeah and this is basically uh, the plans coming forward <clears throat> uh, yeah Lua Lua is cool. It, it's just, for me, as a person that's a, a non-programmer, wrapping my brain around it a little bit, you know, it's going to take me a little more time than, than the average person. However, I'm already pretty familiar, um, and I, I've been able to get this working and going good, so I, I'm pretty confident in uh, being able to learn that. So that's, that's going to be a very, very sweet thing. Anyway... If you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. We got links to a Discord server. We got all sorts of stuff. Whoa, if I, if I don't knock my drink over. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day. And, uh, yeah, I'll check you later. Peace out.